and good morning. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty good. It's Saturday. I'm just having some coffee. It's a nice morning. I don't have to work. It's great. And I wanted to kind of touch uh, basis on the situation with the Phoenix Mercury star, Brittany Griner, one more time because there's something that happened on the day of her release that I like to point out. She uh, was released um, uh, for prisoner exchange with Victor Bout, and they came and they got him. They put her on a plane, and then they had all these reporters on the plane, and they were interviewing her uh, right as she was sitting down in the, in the, in the seat. And they were asking her if she knew what was going on. She didn't really know. She didn't know shit. She said, I don't know what's going on. They're like, you know where you're going? They're like, she's like, no. She goes, oh, you're going back home. She's like, to the United States? And they're like, yeah. She's like, oh. So that's when she found out she was going home to the United States, which means she was in the dark. The Russians came and plucked her out of whatever little cell she was in and get your shit, we're going. So, so it's not like she knew what was going on. But conveniently, Paul Whalen sure knew all about it. The United States Marine Corps veteran that's been held in captivity over there for several years, well, he knew about it. They had him all dressed up and ready for an interview in front of the cameras right away on the same day, the very same day, which means that they're sitting there talking to him going, look, they're letting this basketball star from the United States go, when we, we offered a deal for you, Paul, the president doesn't like you, man. He likes the, pre he likes the basketball star more, and so... He felt that was more important for him to bring the celebrity home than the veteran. And that's, man, fuck. They probably said that right to his face. And then they put him in front of the camera and said, what do you think about that, Paul? Tell your fellow Americans what you think about your president. So he gets on the TV and he's like talking about how disappointed that he is. All neatly dressed in front of the camera. Same day, same fucking day, which means the same time that they were pulling Brittany Griner out of her cell to put her on a plane, they were dressing up Paul Whelan in a suit to put him in front of a camera to parade in front of you, in front of your TV, in front of your camera to get you to hate half of your fellow citizens. They did it. Right in front of your face. You fell for it. It's a shame. As an American, you should be able to look past the authoritarianism bullshit that Russia tries to play. They do it right in front of your face, and you fall for it. It's, it's terrible. The Russians know they could have given Paul Whelan back. They weren't offering him. They were using him as a political tool to get into your brain, to make you hate your fellow countrymen. Because they don't vote the same way that you vote. They're playing on all the political divide that they know is happening in the United States worse than at any other time in our history. And they're playing you like a chess piece. Ain't that grand? 